Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really do appreciate it when you come to spend time with me. <sighs> this week has been crazy. Getting ready for this vendor event. The past couple of you know weeks prior to that weren't so bad, but this week has made me nutso. <laughs> so I'm super happy that tomorrow is the event and I can let it all go. It's all going to be done deal. Whether it's good or bad, it is what it is, right? <laughs> So um, I just had some things to tidy up here tonight. I have already loaded the car and then I just have like my front seat, my office box or my display things. I might have to squish some other stuff in behind the seat a little bit, but the, the totes, the, the bulk of the big stuff is all loaded up already. So I hope I'm not up too late into the night, uh, you know, tying up my loose ends and everything, getting all ready for tomorrow. So, um, Thank you for all of the love and support you guys have been sending to me. I can feel the vibes coming through. And so I hope you enjoy this short little snippet clip it of video that I put together. Um, you'll be seeing this while I'm at the vendor event maybe. So today is Saturday and uh, next Saturday is my vendor event. And this was going to be the last chance that I had to film some makes that I did in the past. Um, so that I can get everything out to the table, everything on the vendor table. And I had just had one bag left to put a liner into. I've done so well. Um, so this is the bag that I have left to do. And I told you guys about these color bleed throughs, how I love a cake of yarn, but these are Bernat pop and they bleed through quite a bit. So I don't think that it's very oops, fancy finished looking, but maybe a little girl will like it. I added a little flower to the, um, and so I've got this material that I've used for the inside of another bag um, and this was what I had left so pretty little flowers so I've got the start of that pinned there's a pin here's my proof ouch I just stuck my finger there's my proof <laughs> um, so I'm trying to map that out I think that it will fit just at the edge of that cut so I'm going to try to go ahead and make this the liner for this bag and then all my bags whoops, will have been finished and all I would have had left to do was work on some like signage and you know details about where my things might be moved around on the table and so forth little finishing touches that I could probably go in and sell stuff as I am right now but um, you know I want that final walkthrough I want that final run through that I'll be doing this week um, and so I wanted to be finished with all my makes until my hubby has this brilliant idea that I should set out the Barbie doll dress and offer to make those dresses custom order, which is fantastic. I'll make those for, you know, put a big Christmas, have the, these will be ready for Christmas, order one today, blah, blah, blah. Except that um, I don't have the yarn that I used. The yarn that I was using for this dress that you guys have seen before in my unicorn Barbie she's her hair is wild because I just took it out of its clips for the picture but um, she's a thick Barbie thick Barbie and so start here so this is the dress that I made and I finished and I put the photo up and it's so beautiful and custom order these yada 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 and then I we were out to dinner last night and I realized I only have one more skein this was stuff that was my mom's yarn and I weighed this and it's only like two grams more than this so I can make another one, but it's going to be calling it super close. I can't make any mistakes. In addition to that, so, so what I decided to do, I kind of panicked. What am I going to do? I've just, and I've already given it to them as a photo to put in a sneak peek for what's going to be at the event. So I can't not have any Barbie dresses now. So I have nine skeins of this sugar wheel cotton in the sparkle and you can see if you can see it's super sparkly this is Jenny's galoshes the colorway is Jenny's galoshes and they all all the cakes go from like blue to pink to um, green to yellow and they're very very pretty I've got nine nine skeins of it like I said um, so I'm trying to make one up on a regular Barbie I was up until after 11 last night doing some math to try to make it fit because as you see, I'll link the video down below, but um, I had quite the struggle making a dress that I thought was for regular Barbie and it actually turned out that it was fitting the thicker Barbie instead. So that's fantastic. I love that, but now I have to 
make notes, make do math and make notes and recreate it on a smaller Barbie, on a regular size Barbie, and then be able to take that finished dress to the event and tell everybody, this is your color choices. You know, pick one of these. I'll put all the blue together. I don't know how much it's going to take out of one skein for each dress. Um, I don't want it to be a multicolored dress like this is a multicolored skein. So we'll see how long it takes me to get this dress finished and then be prepared to custom order those. This video is going to be a little bit bits and pieces as I go through what I have left to do for the vendor event and um, I'll talk and post about that and that video will go up on the day of the vendor event because I'll be busy at the event and then that video of the event itself will come out four days later hopefully so hi guys it's Amy and you have found Amy loves crochet today I am going to film my mock setup for a vendor event that I have on Saturday today is Sunday I know I'm cutting it close but um, I wanted to run through it today with a timer and see how long it's gonna take me all right I took down the table that I had set up in the other um, side of the living room there and I gathered everything together so that I knew exactly what I was up against as far as car space. Um, some of the totes here have just some overflow blankets that I will leave in the car until right before the event is going to open to the public. So um, I do have that wonderful cart there that helps me take fewer trips from, to and from the car. Um, my folding table, I've got this tote that's full of like my my secretarial stuff, my desk stuff, and my display pieces that I have to build, and my tablecloth. These cubes are really great. Um, they come with connectors so that you can stack them tall or stack them long or, you know, make whatever shapes you want with it. So um, they were a little bit pricey, but I think they're working out well for me. And I'm kind of cheating because they are a um, cube, and I'm not using all of the sides. In some cases, I'm not using the back piece. So I've made a bigger set than I'm supposed to, I guess. And then that big black thing on the end there is a wonderful shelf that I found that's very um, heavy duty as far as its structure, but it's very light. So it just comes um, in those four shelves, shelf pieces. And then there's just round pieces that go in for the legs to separate them. So I'll show you that when it's all set up. But I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes me to put everything together. I've marked the floor off here with a little tape to be my eight foot square. You can see the other one up in the corner over here. Um, so we'll see how I can get it all thrown together with a timer running and, and see what I'm up against. Right, And then after that I just have signage to make. Um, I've got my little laminator machine warming up and we'll see how that goes. So um, I have this, sh uh, just a bed sheet on there that I'm going to wash, obviously, and, and iron. Um, the baby blanket right here, the white one, is to be in place of the, um, I bought a logo table banner, so that'll go there. Um, I've got my large throws or um, long, full-length blankets here, and then the skinnier side over here, where am I, here, those are lap blankets or child or toddler size blankets. Um, I've got all my baskets, so I've got big ones over here, medium-sized ones here, and then oval ones or smaller ones over here. I went ahead and made some palm hats. I'm so proud of myself. It was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. So I've got those up there, and I even made, um, I've got some Mommy and Me hats going on, and I even palmed a couple of those. Um, and I'm so proud of myself because I have extra palms. So like for that gray and white hat, it looks good with the gray palm as well. So if somebody buys that, they can make a choice. So I liked that. Um, I've got all my hats over here in this sort of awesome little four stacker here. And I've got them separated out by uh, the top shelf is like regular adult size hats. The next one is uh, regular adult size hats that may be bulky or slouchies. Uh, the next one is uh, like child or a teen or a small adult's heads. Um, and then the bottom one, oops, those are in the wrong place. These are for kiddos here. And then that bottom shelf is um, the mommy and me or daddy and me hat sets that I made. I've got little baby hats there that I just need to get cleared out. Oh, and I've got some great um, head scarves hanging on the side there. Um, and then I've got, I got busy with um, some American Girl doll stuff as well. So you all have seen my Barbie doll uh, 
journey my the dress for the Barbie doll and I'll put that down in the link below but I decided to take those with me and do them custom order do them to custom order so the American um, doll the American Girl doll has a cute little purse with it and some matching shoes and I'm working on a couple of different patterns so people can choose what kind of pattern they want and then that little bag I just made um, because I had a liner that was all ready to size um, I mean this liner that was already made and so I just crocheted a little bag to go over it and this is going to be my little money pouch my little crossover body bag money pouch for the day instead of having like a belt or a box laying somewhere I'm going to have a nice little cross body shoulder thing um, and then this is going to be like my clearance rack and that's what I decided because I think I'm really going to get into doing some Barbie doll and American Girl dresses um, that's I think that's I'm gonna kind of make that my niche because I really really enjoy it And it seems to be something that's gonna sell so um, These are things that you've seen before these were all cowls in this side and um, then scarves um, Gosh, I love that rainbow scarf so much um, and then the the container down here is um, Hats that are too big like I made them for a man size or I just made them goofy like they they just got to be too big like mistakes maybe and i'm going to call those like extra large size and the same with these two uh the white and the yellow sun hats there and then a couple of blankets that i think are just kind of a weird shape or a smaller size than i'd like i was trying to do a one skein thing um i've got a couple more head scarves over here that are just um kind of plainer so I decided to call those discount and then maybe that way you'll think those are fancier and pay a little bit more for those um, I've got some the cottage country cottage mittens um, and some slippers just plain old slippers I've got some bucket hats up there um, and then I tried to do like you guys saw my um, where is it all my um, what's that ha uh, Halloween <laughs> the Halloween baskets and then I made some more for Christmas colors in different you know designs and different color combinations so um, I still have to price those out I wasn't sure what I was going to do about those I got on a kick to do a couple of keychains real quick if you're on the Facebook page you or a group you've seen that because um, I posted that on Facebook group and so those are kind of fun I don't know what I'm going to do uh, price those at and then these you guys have seen in a what's in that tote from a previous vendor event um, I think I'm I'm just gonna offer them free with the purchase of a blanket so maybe you know and then maybe like a dollar besides or two dollars besides or something like that I don't know um, I really still think it's a great idea for teachers or for just putting on the top of a gift if you're gonna need some quickie cheapy kind of things um, so I don't know if those are gonna sell or not and then I've got this you haven't seen this either. I started to do a tutorial. This is an oval shaped basket. Um, and then it ended up not being a tutorial because I ended up doing the Halloween one instead. So uh, that's my discount rack. And then I kind of want to call this like my premium. I lined all my bags. You guys would be so stinking proud of me. I really like this one. It's kind of cute with this blue, whoops, with this blue interior. And then you've seen this one with the orange interior that was the first one I did um, and then this was a new one that I found in my stuff when I was getting ready for this event so I decided to line that one this is the only one I didn't line um, I'm gonna leave that kind of call it a market bag and leave it unlined because it's got these giant holes in it anyway um, and then here's my C to C bag that matches the blankets that I've got made and then this was a Japanese knot bag of crystals pattern. You know, we all did that one, didn't we? Um, so, yeah, and then just some um, shawl, shawls, shawls, some cowls. Um, this was the one, oh, what did Cinnamon Stitches called it? I don't remember, but I watched Cinnamon Stitches. And I was trying to just go around the cake until the yellow came around again or something. And it's gigantic. So we're going to call that one premium because it's big and fluffy and warm. And then my beautiful Arabella cowl. I've got the tutorial on that one as well. I'll post that down below. Um, and then there's my shawls. So I'm not quite sure how my spacing is going to go. You can see the tape mark down there where I did the little corner. And I've got to find a way to fit all my totes underneath the table right now. We've got a table 
back there that I couldn't move and so I don't have my under table space that I should. Um, but here is a basket or a tote of overflow for the blankets because I'm really staying positive that that's going to go well. And then I've got another tote down here and another tote down there. This is urethane. My husband used to install windshields and we got some urethane stuck on the carpet and it won't come out. So in case you see that in my videos. Um, so yeah, and then the trouble with tribbles, you know, these uh, pom-poms, I bought a whole bunch of them, like I said, so people can trade out. And I got all normal colors, except this crazy blue one I did get. I thought that one was wild. Um, it's just my junk. My desk is such a mess over here. This is the only bag I have left to finish, so I'm still going to do that, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm a lot uh, feeling a lot better now that I've kind of got my little setup going. Um, my spacing goes all the way. You can see the tape mark here. and um, So I feel like it's kind of big and spacey, like people aren't going to feel claustrophobic in here. Um, you can see my bag, my big, beautiful green neon colored bag from, you know, hopefully across the way. When I was initially playing with this setup, I did put a whole nother cube here so that this one was up even on top of that, but that's silly. Nobody can reach it, and um, the cubes weren't as stable without that missing piece. I kind of bragged that I cheated and didn't use them all, but I think it's better that we do. So anyway... Um, I'm super stoked uh, where I'm at now and I'll put all this stuff away. It took me like an hour, over an hour to lay it all out and that was like mostly set together what I want to do. I want to reprint some of those labels like my little label that says that I am going to do um, custom made orders. I got to make that bigger because that's not big enough. So things like that. And Karen, I love you. Thank you so much for sending me um, the Snow White doll all those years ago when I was making the dress for uh, Claire and up here is um, my threads so if when I do um, I just needed to put this together really quick I think for the show plus I want to use worsted weight for these doll dresses but um, then I'll have like a fancy line with um, the threads and I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what dress I'm talking about so Thank you all for your fabulous, um, f positive vibes. I know you're thinking of me today, and I can't wait to get back from the show or the event and um, tell you how successful I was and that I'm rich and famous now. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Morning, everyone. It is Friday morning, and I started a few hours ago trying to get all of my last minute things done before I do my last minute running around today, before I do my last minute panicking before the event tomorrow. Um, and I just felt like this was, I had my little light over my head here for a couple hours now, or I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, I guess. And um, I feel like I'm in a little sweat shop, po sweat shop, poking my finger with this needle and <laughs> But I'm getting my jobs done, and I had a little verklempt moment a, mo a bit ago, and teared up about myself. I'm super proud. So um, I just had to get on here and show you guys my super stupid smiling face because I'm so excited. Um, and in doing so, I did not realize my shirt, Mount Rushmore. This is one of my favorite cups that I use all the time, and here I am also wearing this shirt today. <laughs> So I thought that was funny enough to share as well. So I'm going to sit here hunched over the work table for another little while before I have to go run out. And I realize today is Veterans Day, so I will not be able to get any change at the bank. So I'm going to have to rely on um, my son who worked as a waiter and saved some tips. Maybe he's got some ones and fives I can bum off of him for a little while. So, all right, I'll check in with you guys later. If you guys have never been to Mount Rushmore and you have the opportunity to, I would highly encourage you. It is very awe-inspiring. It's just amazing. It makes you so proud to be an American. It's just so cool. I mean, they're right there. They're right there in front of you. It's crazy. Cool. Anyway, so as I've been sitting here tacking in the liners to the inside of the purses that I made, um, it occurred to me 
that I should be doing this, tacking it in at the bottom on the inside before I sew the top part in. What a dummy. I don't know why I didn't think about that to begin with, because I'm learning as I go. And this, could, this worm is turning into a butterfly. It could be hiding in there. I'm so dumb. Oh well. I learn as I go. Thank you guys. So my area is just kind of a mess. Um, I'm kind of getting little bits and pieces put together here. Um, this was the American Girl doll outfit that I started to put together. I added a little flower to the bag. Um, and what I had was my sister's uh, Snow White doll that she sent to me. And it's actually a 16 inch doll, not an 18 inch doll. So it wasn't quite right. So I had to buy this one real quick and have the right size model. I made uh, her dress a little bit longer and did some more sort of um, increasing along here so that it would kind of flirp out a little bit. I thought it was really pretty. So I'll show you guys that more a little bit later because I'm going to kind of get into that, I think. <laughs> and I made a little poncho. Um, and so I wanted to be able to offer these in those shoes. I wanted to be able to offer these as a custom um, item as well as a couple of Barbie dresses that I made up. And so um, I was going to bring some yarn with me here so that people can maybe decide if they want to do some customization, you know, make those those doll outfits. Um, and this is uh, this is really pretty, the Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle that I used for the Barbie doll dresses. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago at their clearance, and I'm just in love with it. Um, so this is the, the doll dress that I made out of that one, and then I glued the little little flower thing on the front there so I just still have some little things here and there but I think I'm going to sleep easy tonight uh, a little bit of a mess here to work on but um, otherwise I'm good to go so next time you see me um, will be in the next video where I am showing you what happened at the event so I uh, hope I'll see you again soon bye